Hi Cliff fans and welcome to another one of my 5 minute Cliff album reviews and today I'm going to review Cliff's 1970 album Tracks in Grooves which only made number 37 in the British album charts back in 1970 but um, I kind of have a little fondness for this album it wouldn't be my favourite Cliff album of all time I very rarely had it when I was younger but I very rarely played it and if I did play it there was only one or two um, songs that I actually like listen to and I play them over and over again and dismiss all the rest of the songs on the album but um, I'll go through the tracks and there's some actually a couple of hidden gems in it and some like I really recommend some of these songs um, so a little bit different I'm gonna rate each one of these songs out of 10 just to be a little bit different and then um, so the first song is Early in the Morning, which is a 10 out of 10 for me because I absolutely love that song. It was um, done, I think it was released as a single in um, Japan and it was a big hit for Cliff in Japan. And um, any time he ever toured Japan after that, he was, had to do that song in the tour. Um, I absolutely love the song. Uh, it's probably my favorite song on the album, Early in the Morning. So the next track is As I Walk in the Morning of Your Life, which I'd probably give it about 7 out of 10. I, I like the song, I'm not crazy about it. Love Truth and Emily Stone, I'd give it an 8 out of 10, I, I love that song. My Head Goes Around, which is... I mean, a lot of these songs were chose because Congratulations was such a big, massive hit all over the world that... I suppose for the next couple of years after Congratulations, he was given a lot of songs that sounded very similar. This is definitely one of them. It's a song called My Head Goes Around. And it's very like Congratulations. Um, I don't probably only give that one a 6 out of 10. But my mind at ease. I think that was written by Neil Diamond. I could be actually wrong. But um, I think it might have been written by Neil Diamond. And I'd give that one a 7, slightly more than my head goes around a abraham martin luther and john absolutely loved i've always loved that song it was originally recorded by dion um uh the 50s singer dion had this out as a single and as one of his big hits and uh, abraham martin martin and john I'd, I'd give that one a nine out of ten the girl can't help it which i hated when i was younger because I don't really like orchestras playing rock and roll. I, uh, but this version has actually grown and grown on me. And I actually quite like this version of it. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I actually really love it. When I stop comparing it to the original Little Richard song. And just um, listen to it on its own. It's like just forget about the rock and roll version. I actually love this version of The Girl Can't Help It. On this album. So what did I say? 9 out of 10. I give that. Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. Another 8 out of 10, a great um, cover of the Sonny Bono song. Um, I'll Make It All Up To You. I'll give that one about a 7. I'm Just Fooled Enough. i give that another 7. Don't Let Tonight Ever End. i give that... I like that one a little bit better. i give that about me. Um, what a silly thing to do. Another phew, seven. Your heart's not in your love, which is totally forgettable. I'm not even struggling to even think what that sound song is. Um, oh yeah, I think I do know it. So I, I give it a six out of ten. Don't ask me to be friends. I would give a seven. And are you only fooling me? Which was another one. That I absolutely loved when I was younger. I still love the song. I'll give that one a 9 out of 10. Because I really like that one. So overall. Um, this album. It's not one of my favourite Cliff albums. I very rarely play it. I would definitely play it at least once a year. In its entirety. But. Um, how would I rate it? I would give it probably. About a 7 out of 10. Um, tracks and grooves so i'd be interested to hear your thoughts below please leave a comment um your favorite tracks on this album from 1970 um how you'd rate the album 
tracks in grooves. 